To make this lovely chicken fried rice, we're first going to need about uh, 200 grams of boneless breast chicken, which I have cut into smaller cubes. To this, I'm going to add one tablespoonful of corn flour, one teaspoonful of uh, chili garlic powder. So if you do not have chili garlic powder, you can just add some uh, chili garlic paste, which is red chili and plain garlic peel paste. Add about one four teaspoon of salt to taste. Now you can either add egg or you can add uh, chicken stock. That's really your uh, call. I'm just going to add two tablespoons full of uh, chicken stock. Now these are also easily available in uh, the market. So, or you can just add egg. If you add egg, just add half an egg to one egg. Don't make it too liquidy depending on the quantity so when you add you should know it you should be able to see the chicken so your egg should just help in diluting the corn flour that's about it so if that means you have to add half an egg just add half an egg if you've got mixed well okay now I'm just going to lightly fry this now I'm just going to fry my chicken that uh, I have mixed with my corn flour and egg and my chili garlic powder and salt so just add one at a time Ensure they don't stick to each other because uh, we want them to be nice, succulent, separate pieces. So we are frying this so that uh, they remain nice and whole when we mix them with our rice. So we are just going to lightly fry these and then I am going to toss it around to the other side. Okay. So do not burn these, we just want to kind of lightly fry, so light golden brown should be the color that uh, you should be looking for. So I keep giving you these tips thinking that you guys are uh, really just learning the recipe, but uh, don't really mind, it's just so that you get it right. And uh, that's the way we actually teach people in our restaurants as well. Lovely. Just going to toss this around. Done. Now that my chicken is uh, actually done, I'm going to start tossing the pieces outside because I don't want them to get burnt. Now to start making the chicken fried rice, we're going to need about one tablespoon of olive oil in a nice open wok or a pan. Okay. Now once this is nice and hot, I'm going to add two garlic peels finely chopped. Okay. I have onions which are chopped in the shape of cubes. So I'm going to drop the onions. Okay. Now let these just toss around in the oil. I'm now going to add some vegetables. So I have here some green peas, corn and some carrot. So you could just take a little of all. I'm just going to make this rice for two people. So I'm going to cross my vegetables. Now you could really add any of the vegetables. You could also add some French beans. You could add spring onions, capsicum or bell pepper, green pepper. Give this a nice mix. Lovely. I'm now going to add one tablespoonful of uh, ginger garlic paste. One teaspoonful of chili garlic paste. Now this is easily available or you could just take four red chilies, four peels of garlic and just make about one teaspoonful of uh, chili garlic paste. 
lovely. Okay, give this a nice mix. With Chinese dishes, one of the things is you just have to be very quick with uh, all that you have to add. I'm going to add about uh, one tablespoon spoonful of soy sauce. It's done. Keep stirring. Okay. Now I'm going to drop my chicken pieces that I had. Uh, Fried, they're nice and soft and succulent. Toss this well. Okay. I'm now going to add my rice. So I have here one cup of rice which has been cooked already. Okay, so I'm just going to drop that in at this stage. That's it. Now just kind of toss everything together. I'm now going to add about half a teaspoonful of salt to taste. With the salt you could also add one teaspoonful of MSG but I'm going to skip that. In restaurants we generally add the MSG. I'm now going to add about a half a tablespoon of chili garlic powder. Okay, this is also easily available. Just in case, if you don't have this again, follow the same thing. Mix everything real good. Lovely. gonna let this cook on low flame for about two. lovely so this is now ready serve this nice and piping hot with some uh, manchurian or from chili garlic chicken so enjoy so thank you very much and uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys will try it out in your homes and do write to me if in case you want me to really teach you or to cook with you a recipe of your choice I'll be more than happy because um, I believe in inspiring a lot of people to cook and now that I have that kind of expertise I want to pass it on to everyone so thank you and uh, see you again in my next video bye bye